This is a conversation that took place, ironically, first on September 11th, 2015, about American enemies that have been attacking Americans with the cops' blessings, the court's blessings. I have already been told by the Florida Highway Patrol. I've been told by the Bay County Sheriff's Department. And now the Panama City idiot motherfucking clown department in Panama City, Florida. That the Florida Supreme Court has decided it's okay for these boom cars to, to blast their fucking trash 24 hours a day, 365 days a year on a stupid uh, uh, excuse of saying, well, political trucks, um, they blast their speakers. Well, first of all, number one, political trucks, they don't have low frequency sound like these boom basses. So, here's a conversation that took place where there's a criminal conspiracy going on where the cops know that these boom cars are irritation devices. There's a criminal conspiracy going on where the, where the cops are coaching the dispatchers to try to frustrate me and enrage me. But the thing is this is, I don't, I don't call on myself. I call on my maker to help me out in this situation, to help me to have endurance patience in, in, in the face of, of insulting me, in the face of dispatchers being rude to me, talking over me and stuff like that. And it seems to me like the one thing the cops don't like you doing, dispatchers don't like you doing, they fear questions. Because then what you might do is you might end up exposing them. Just like in The Wizard of Oz, that little man there behind the, cur the curtain there. Now, the felonies, these boom car punks, first of all, number one, I, I, I asked the sheriff, I called the, the Bay County Sheriff's Department, 850-747-4700, to have arrested the Panama City cops. From my research, the sheriff has ultimate adu duty, ultimate arrestability. Under 3015 of Florida statutes, it is the duty, not option, of the Sheriff's Department to arrest uh, H2O shuttle services, which had their boom base going so loud just about cracked my windows. They're supposed to arrest the cops. That's under sedition under 876 out of Florida statutes, under United States Code Title 18, 241-242. Under 3015 of Florida statutes, the Sheriff's Department, it's their duty, not option, to arrest. Not only that, under 876 of the Florida statutes, it's called the Public Servant Oath. The Florida Constitution, Article 2, Section 7 of the Florida Constitution says unnecessary noise will not be tolerated. It is the duty of the Florida Governor, Rick Scott, to, uh, under Chapter 14, Statute, to arrest and he can call out the military on these American enemy punks. Now these are just some of the felonies of these boom car punk motherfuckers. Let's start off with 80610. That's Florida statutes, okay? That right there is to put emergency vehicles in danger. You'd think that the cops would be concerned. Is there actually a uh, competition going on? And cops really don't give a shit about ambulance and fire department people? I'm just wondering. Well, let's go under another motherfucking felony, these goddamn boom car punk motherfuckers, okay? American enemies, pardon me. They're American enemies under 876 of the Florida statutes. When they break into your home un under the concussion of the speakers, that's called 81002 of the Florida statutes. That's a 15-year prison sentence. This is the way they're dealing the drugs. That's under 874 criminal gang signal instrumentalities. Cops can take away their vehicles forever under 932 contraband. When you hear the concussion of the speakers and it hurts your eardrums, 
That's 784 of the Florida statutes. That right there is a felony battery, which is a 15-year prison sentence. There are so many felonies boom cars do. Under audio terrorism, that's 876 of the Florida statutes. Not only that, these punks and the cops, they're doing a conspiracy, which is under um, 838 of the Florida statutes. And they continually do perjury over the phone under 837. Not only that, the so-called judge that decided in favor of these boom car punk motherfuckers, he did what was called perjury after the fact, convenient perjury. He turned his back and betrayed himself on the people that he swore to protect. Not only that, under United States Code Title 18, 241-242, it's a $10,000 fine and 10 years in prison. And that means the dispatchers can go to jail. That means the, the, uh, the cops can go to jail. That also means the judges that decided in favor of the terrorists over innocent people trying to live in their home in peace. But it seems to me like uh, Americans, they're told they're free. They're about as free as a bird that is locked up in a cage. And you teach him to say, I'm free, but he can't get out. It's absolutely amazing. People say they're free. They're waiting for the TV man to tell them what to do. They don't even listen to their fellow Americans anymore. Common techniques that are used is they'll say, oh, well, why don't you form a group? That's basically saying, look here, I, I, I know that there's a problem. But if you're only one person, we don't give a shit. You ain't no threat. So, another thing the cops do, they'll be sure to have their cars out in front of their homes. Why is that? It's because then that way they don't hear no boom cars. Chances are the cops have video surveillance to protect, rightfully protect their homes. Okay? They're going to see that boom car. So the, so the boom cars know that. Another secret signaling system of the cops is they don't use them radar guns just to detect speeders. They also use them to signal to the boom car punk motherfuckers. Way down the road before they're seen, the radar detector can, can detect the cops. And the average person, they just can't fucking figure it out. You'll find it awfully interesting that the cops, they don't know how to use uh, video cameras to catch, to, 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 uh, to video, to record these boom car punks and turn them in. Not only that, the boom car punks, a lot of times they'll have tinted tags that are curved. Why is that? The chances of anybody being able to um, read the tag is, is next to nothing because it looks like a gray. Not only that, the state of Florida, they're also in a criminal conspiracy because they put out these bullshit, novelty bullshit tags like I am for art and you can't fucking read that motherfucker 50 feet away. Another one is called Save the Whales. Dark blue with black. So what's going on is the average person's going to go, fuck, I'll pay $25 more for an extra t uh, t uh, tag, for a novelty bullshit tag. Hell, that might keep me from, uh, when I do a hit and run on an innocent person, hell, that might keep me from, uh, from being detected and I can get away. Fuck yeah, $25. Not that the fucking idiots in the state of Florida, they don't have the tags on the front and the backs of the vehicle like I think it's uh, New York City requires tags in the front and the back. Other, There's a, only a handful of states that do that. Why? Well, now we've got 50% chance that the boom car punk motherfuckers are going to be able to get away. Not only that, if they're coming towards you, Dispatchers, I believe, they are, they are coached to say, okay, uh, wh what's, what's the tag? Can you read the tag? Well, first of all, number one, when they're going 40, 50 miles an hour, and, and on my side of the road, all I see is a front front. I don't see no, no, no tag on there, so I have to give general description. 
And then on the other side of the road, it's a five-lane highway. They're going so fast, it's impossible to read that. So we are being aided by American enemies. The cops know about it. God only knows who, who told this, these idiot fucking clowns. Uh, uh, they, they think that uh, they, have, they, they have decided to favor the noisemakers over people only trying to live in peace. I never thought I'd see that day. Even in the Holy Bible, Psalms 35, 20 of the Bible says, There are those who lay in wait and ensnare the peaceful of the land. Now, what people aren't realizing, I don't think, and is these irritation devices have caused many people to be in road rage that never were. Somebody has a, a so-called entertainment system in their, in their home. The subwoofers are designed to irritate. They're the same devices that are used to cause the whales to beach themselves. Low frequency sound is very, very irritating on human bodies and animals. So what's going on is the cops love these boom cars. The cops in the state of Florida under 777-201 of the Florida statutes has put everybody under general, general citizen cop entrapment. Cops know about it. Not only that, the cops are under a hate crime. When they know that they are causing torment, torment by either ignoring or allowing, that is a hate crime. But you see, people are told when only the cops can decide who our American enemies are, then that means we've been taken over. Not only that, a long time ago on the voter's registration, it used to say on there, it was a five-year prison sentence for anybody to violate the United States Constitution. It's no longer on there. Mark Anderson happens to be the uh, uh, supervisor of elections. I'm wondering if he took it off. I don't know. So the facts are we are under full-scale attack right now. And because people don't see the bombs being dropped, they think, oh, well, we're waiting for the nice TV man to tell us what to do. The truth of the matter is the TV man ain't going to tell you what to do because they are part of the problem. And because I feel as an American, it is my duty to try to protect my fellow citizens. As a matter of fact, I was facing charges where I begged Shane R. Van of the Bay County uh, courts to not drop charges against these, this cop who put false charges against me.